Ever wondered how to build an orange gun? Watch this to find out. Right, get yourself an 80mm by 1m piece of PVC pipe. This is all done at the local Bunnings. Not sponsored, I swear. Then grab yourself a 100mm wire junction. Not that T-junction I just picked up, that's the wrong one. This one. Find yourself a couple of screw-on caps to go on the end of the wire junction. And then you're also going to need to find yourself a reducer from 100mm to 80mm. So you can slap it all together. Like so. You're also going to want to grab yourself some PVC cement to glue it all together and some PVC priming cleaning fluid stuff. Don't really know the name of it probably. It's just used to clean the surface before you glue all your parts together. May pay to lay something down, a bit of newspaper or paper towel like I have here just underneath because this stuff is super sticky and messy as hell. So firstly you want to clean your surface that you're about to apply the glue to. Give it a good scrub using a bit of paper towel or a rag or whatever you got nearby. Give it a nice clean. Don't have to be too fast because this is just for being an orange gun so it doesn't really matter. Give it a nice clean on both parts that are going to make contact. You want them both nice and clean so then when you apply the glue and slip them together they take really well. Now what you want to do is apply a relatively even layer of glue all the way around the surface that's going to be making contact. I did this very, very messy, so it works fine with mine. So yeah, you don't have to be too fussy. It's fine. I'm certainly no plumber. So we're just sticking the reducer pipe to the wire junction. And then we stick the barrel, which is the long pipe of PVC, onto the reducer. Just giving this a bit of a clean up with a bit of paper towel, just to neaten it up a bit. Just slapping the caps on where they go. In preparation to drilling the hole for the ignition. Mark where you want to drill. I first do a little hole with a smaller drill bit so that when I use the bigger drill bit it doesn't make it life hard, it just acts like a pilot hole like you would with anything else. Then do the same with the barrel, give it a clean, clean the surface of the adapter or the reducer, whatever you want to call it. Apply the glue again and slap it all together. Now it does say once you push all this together and get it how you want it to let it sit and set for 24 hours. You probably pay to do that so you don't shoot it off and blow things up. Again just cleaning that bit up there. Now I'm just drilling out the pilot hole making it the right size. It's going to be just the same size as the cigarette lighter or the barbecue lighter. The end just has to fit inside. As you can see what I'm doing here, test fitting it, making sure that's right. And it fits perfectly. And that's pretty much it. Once that sets, you're good to go. I'm going to paint ours first though before we get to there.
Right, so we have loaded the barrel with a frozen orange. Place it in the front of the barrel, slide it right down until it's like at the reducer junction section where it goes from 100mm to 80mm. Spray a small amount of hairspray into the chamber at the bottom. Screw the nozzle back on with the lid, cap, whatever you want to call it. Place your barbecue lighter end piece in the hole that you drilled earlier. Point it where you want to fire and shoot. That was better. <laughs>